Caden is only six years old. He has his whole life ahead of him, and I really want him to not just survive this, but I want him to be able to have a life where he can go on and do whatever he dreams to do. My name is Courtney Addison, and um, I'm married to Daryl Addison. We've been married for almost 10 years now, and we have two little boys. Caden Addison, who is six years old, full of energy, and then his big brother, Christian Addison, who is eight, who is even more full of energy. <laughs> Before Caden's diagnosis, we started to notice a couple of strange things. The first was him complaining about leg pain. At the time, we thought that it was probably just growth spurts because his older brother had experienced leg pain before. But it ended up progressing to the point where he wouldn't walk at all. So I took him to the doctor. They did x-rays and everything came back normal. Then unfortunately, it started to progress. Um, we were on our way to Richmond to visit my parents and that leg pain progressed to a fever. He lost his appetite. Whenever we tried to pick him up, he would flinch in pain. I knew that this was not normal. After test and test and talking to his pediatrician, she said, you know, we really need to get some blood work done. When they came in to deliver the news, they also had a child life specialist that was playing with Caden. They looked at us and said, Caden has leukemia. And I just remember, I just collapsed in my husband's arms. My heart was pounding and I sobbed. To go from this healthy, playful young boy to a le leukemia diagnosis was, it was devastating. And I just remember being so shocked and overwhelmed and just didn't even have time to process the news. Right after Caden was diagnosed, everything moved incredibly fast. That same day, he was in surgery, getting his port into his chest, and he started chemo that day. After two years of treatment, of constantly taking chemo, we got to celebrate the end of treatment in uh, April of last year. This year, in February, we found out that Caden relapsed. So with relapse, they had to figure out a different way to handle this. After relapse, we actually did immunotherapy, and I was so surprised by how well he handled it. And with immunotherapy, this was the first time through all of the years of him dealing with this that he got into complete remission. Because he has pH positive leukemia, which is high risk, if we stopped there, his chances of relapse would be much higher. So um, based on the research that they've done, the only way to really increase the likelihood of um, not relapsing is to do CAR-T. We went down to Duke in North Carolina where they harvested his cells. Over a couple of hours, they just collected as many white cells as they could. Honestly, he's been handling everything since treatment phenomenally. He's his normal self, he's playful. We haven't experienced any nausea or weird side effects. It's been surprising how well he took to the CAR-T treatment, and he stayed in remission this whole time. One of the things that I'm very grateful for is my community. There are several times where we've had to stay overnight in the hospital, or when we went for the CAR-T treatment, we were gone for 37 days. I have Caden, but I also have my older son, Christian. And so our family came together, um, my mom and dad, my husband's mom. We would come up with a schedule to take care of Christian so that we can try to keep as much normalcy as possible. My job has been wonderful. I have the most amazing supervisor. She's flexible and lets me work remotely so that I can maintain my benefits because I have to have benefits in order to get Caden the treatment that he needs. We have to continue this research. Immunotherapy and CAR-T wouldn't have been an option if we didn't have funding for research. It's important that we continue to do this because our children should not have to go through this. If I could share anything with the members of Congress, uh, with the public, is that funding for cancer research is vital. Funding is critical so that we can continue to make advancements in treatment options. We can continue to make options that end up with less side effects so that he doesn't have to deal with the consequences of saving his life for the rest of his life.